Hey guys, I'm Meteorologist just Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And I just love these stretches where there's big snows, big totals, and we've got three or four storms lined up into next week that'll get us close to Christmas. So we're going to talk all about it. First though, let's start at uh, Mammoth. This is their... Uh, their main lodge cam, they're reporting about four feet of snow, and they'll add to this, but this storm is ultimately starting to pull out of California, as I'm going to show you. But some good totals there, uh, no question about it. Here's radar, you can see where the precip is moving from, out of Tahoe, down across Mammoth, and eventually this storm uh, will be um, impacting Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming with a lot of wind and a lot of snow. So you can see it is on the move right there. Here's the big picture on the satellite over the over the basin, the Pacific Basin. And I've got all three storms lined up. There's probably another one behind this, but you can see, I mean, that takes us all the way back. And again, these storms will continue to roll in all the way into next week and beyond. I mean, this is just a, it's such a fantastic uh, situation that we're in. Um, so let me show you um, the future position of some of this uh, precip. Um, let me go back here. Let me just start on uh, Wednesday morning. So here we are, Wednesday morning, and you can see what has happened. So the, the main impact of snow in Utah is tonight and into tomorrow morning. In Colorado, it comes tonight and into tomorrow morning. It's the same thing for the Tetons, and then that storm moves on. Look at the next storm, already coming in behind this one into the Pacific Northwest and into parts of California. This one will brush Tahoe and also Shasta all the way down to Mammoth, and then it kind of loses a lot of energy um, so this is Friday morning right here, and it's washed out. There's basically just very little precip left. Saturday morning is quiet except for the Pacific Northwest. That storm in the Pacific Northwest looks to bring some heavy snow to Whistler, B.C., and, the, and also the volcanoes and Cascades. And then it drops down, and it kind of clips Shasta and maybe Tahoe, but it drops some good snow. Then let's go into Sunday morning right here. Good snow to Idaho and western Montana and kind of clips the Tetons and misses Colorado, unfortunately. Um, so this is Monday morning. There's another low. Here it comes, getting lined up with California. And this is Tuesday morning. This is December 21st. That'll be another good storm for California, potentially. Let me take you just through the 22nd right here. Look at that low. Let me take you into the 23rd, the morning of the 23rd. And again, snow just continues to hit California, come out of the Pacific Northwest, and then blow into the interior Rockies. So this is a very good pattern. Let me just take you into the 24th. Still snow traversing Utah, Colorado, the Tetons, and here's the morning of the 25th. So this is Christmas morning right here. And some very light snows across the west, but in general, remaining unsettled with the storm track positioned to move storm after storm into the west. So this is a great pattern. All right, let's talk some uh, totals. We'll do this in two time frames. This is the 14th today through the 18th in Colorado anywhere from 4 to 10 inches, basically I-70 at north, uh, up to a foot in the southern mountains, 1 to 2 feet in Utah, 1 to 2 feet up in Jackson, the, the Tetons up to Grand Targhee, 8 to 12 there through parts of southwest Montana, and good snow there through Schweitzer and Whitefish again. And then you see that snow in the Pacific Northwest, that's largely coming uh, towards uh, this weekend. And then great snows continuing in California as these as these lows drop in. Remember that there's that one coming on the, the back side of this river storm. So that's good. Let's look at phase two. This will take us from the 19th through the 23rd. And again, a continuation of just good snows, consistent snows with these storms hitting the West Coast, sending snow into the interior Rockies through Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, and Colorado. Let me look at, I've got a plume set up here for Park City. Again, just good consistent snows all the way through the 21st, 22nd, and probably into Christmas as well, based on the pattern that I'm seeing. So um, yeah, there you go. Good, good consistent snow. Um, all right, one more thing. When this storm system that we're currently watching moves into Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, it's going to bring a lot of wind. I mean, we're talking 40 to 80 mile an hour winds, pretty widespread. And you can see how the in Colorado on the 14ers um, that I've highlighted here, the gusts go 60 to 110 um, tonight into tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be incredibly windy. In fact, I, I think we could do 120 on some of the southern mountains in Colorado, the Sand Grays. Um, Crestones, Little Bear, down towards Culebra and Spanish Peaks. I think we could really see some intense gusts. And then the winds settle down and generally back to more normal levels after that. But this is a windy storm moving into Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. All right, so there you go. Enjoy this snow. I mean, I just love it when we get into this period, these types of storm cycles when we've got good, consistent snow, and it looks like it could carry us all the way into Christmas. Take care, and thank you for tuning in here.